YouTube and welcome to the Miniature Construction Company. Now this little video uh, concerns an issue you may or may not be having if you've purchased the WPL um, sound kit, if you like, uh, the controller, the, the you know the little printed circuit board, and the speaker. Now you may or may not have noticed that um, when fitted at high uh, engine revs or motor revs you get a lot of interference uh, with the speaker in fact it just cuts out now I had this uh, with truck here um, when at full throttle the speaker would basically stop working now I tried a few different things uh, speaker location I even tried moving the speaker wires as far away from the motor wires and the power wires as I possibly could. Uh, all this helped but didn't um, remove the issue completely. But I did find a way of curing it. Now like I say it may or may not for work for you but it has done for me. Now the fix concerns uh, these little fellas here. Now I don't know if you can see them they are ferrite rings uh, used to suppress interference in wires uh, in computers and amplifiers. Uh, I had a few spare motherboards floating around and actually used the ferrite ring out of an old car amplifier I had in the loft. And basically all you do I'll just put a, a quick photo up for you now. Of, of, uh, as you can tell from the photo, um, all you do is wrap the speaker wires round the ferrite ring several times. And this if, uh, it, it acts like a choke and suppresses the interference from the motor. In my case, it completely cured it. There's no uh, speak no interference, no speaker cut off at all uh, motor RPMs and full throttle. So, hopefully, if you try this, it might be a simple and easy fix for you. Like I say, it's, these things can be found almost anywhere. Um, I mean, you can even buy them, they're fairly cheap. If you've got an old computer lead, you may have found. Uh, you know the, the the lump at the end near the plug that's usually a ferrite choke uh, you could probably use something like that and like I say if you wind the speaker wires around several times it in my case it's completely cured the noise and it doesn't matter how close I put the speaker wires to the power leads or the leads for the motor it doesn't make any difference it stops the interference dead so that's the end of the video. I hope you found this uh, of interest and of use. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you later. Thank you very much for watching.